hello guys a very warm welcome to all so in today's video i'm going to share with you everything related to ca foundation this video is going to be very useful for all of them and i will tell you about this course in detail so don't wait let's move into the video first you have to pass this entry level to enter into ca it's just like an entrance exam guys uh, and also there is a another way to get into a ca it's through direct entry uh, but i won't tell about the today's video uh, i just want to tell about ca foundation route so now let's talk about the eligibility to get into the ca foundation uh, firstly you have to appear in your 12th class exam you can register for ca foundation after passing 10th class but you can give exam only after passing 12th standard and now one more thing is that uh, if you do not belong to commerce team still you have chance to get into ca foundation guys uh, yeah you can register yourself for ca foundation irrespective of the any stream whether it is from um, commerce background or from science background it doesn't matter uh, also there is no any requirements for certain marks now let's talk about the registration procedures and fees for ca foundation uh, after passing 10th class or appearing in 12th class you will come for ca foundation right so after that you have to keep few dates in your mind uh, if you registered in ca foundation on or before 1st july then you will be eligible to give exam in november attempt or if you register in ca foundation on or before january 1st january uh, then you can appear in immediate May attempt, guys. Usually, CA Foundation exams uh, happens twice in a year, in May and in November. Uh, then, uh, let's see what's the registration fees for CA Foundation. If you are an Indian student, then you have to pay 9,200 rupees, uh, which covers prospectives and the registration fees. Apart from that, there are two additional fees that is optional. If you want to pay, you can. Otherwise, you can skip it. Uh, that additional fees for student journal and members journal. Uh, so, you have to pay extra fees of 600 rupees. Uh, but it doesn't matter if you don't want to pay. Otherwise, uh, 9200 is mandatory fees for registration of CA Foundation, guys. Uh, and also, now you are a uh, foreign student then you will have to pay $720 which again covers prospectors and registration fees. Uh, here optional fees for student journal and members journal is $60 per year. So basically registration for CA foundation is $9,200 for Indians and $720 for foreign students. Now what's the study period do you have to complete before going for CA exam is? from the date of registration in CA foundation until the exam. So you have to complete four months of mandatory study period. And then let's see what is the validity period for CA foundation registration. After CA foundation registration, you have three years of validity period. Uh, if you couldn't clear CA foundation in three years, then validity period will be lapsed. Then you have to revalidate it again for further three years after paying a uh, fees of 300 rupees. And then now what's the syllabus for CA foundation? So there are four subjects in CA foundation. Uh, two subject is uh, descriptive type and two subject is objective type. Objective type is something like MCQ. In descriptive paper, uh, paper number one is principles and practice accounting which comes 100 marks. And second paper divided into two parts. First part is business loss which comes for 60 marks and the second part is of business correspondence and reporting which comes for 40 marks. Uh, totally 100 mark guys. If I talk about the objective paper then here are two papers. First paper is divided into three parts. The first part is business mathematics. Uh, which comes for 40 marks and second part is logical reasoning uh, which comes for 20 marks and third part is statistics which comes for again 40 marks and totally 100 mark guys and the last uh, that is fourth paper uh, is also divided into two parts first part is business economics which comes for 60 marks and the second part is business and commercial knowledge which comes for 40 marks and totally 100 marks now in objective paper, uh, paper number 3 and paper number 4, there is a negative marks. If a uh, question is of 1 mark, you answered it wrong. So then 1.25 marks will 
automatically uh, deduct from that question and then let's talk about the examination criteria and fees now ca foundation exam happened twice in a year in november and in may uh, along with it you also have to fill exam form to appear in the exam for that you have to pay an examination fees of 1500 for each attempt now when examination form comes on website so it usually get available uh, february uh, march for may attempt uh, if your attempt is in november then they'll get available online between uh, august or september month so uh, now let's see what is passing criteria for passing you must fulfill two requirements the first one is you must achieve 40 percent mark in each individual subjects and second that the aggregate should be 50 percent or more both the requirements should be fulfilled guys and also if you could score less than 40 marks and the aggregate mark is above 50 percent uh, you won't get passed and again if you scored 40 percent in individual subject and the aggregate is less than 50 percent again you won't pass to pass you have to fulfill the both the requirements next one is when will be the ca foundation results get announced you if you have given exam in may attempt then your result will be come in july month and if you have given exam in november attempt then your result will be come in january month and now this is was all about the ca foundation course i hope this video was very useful to you for more videos do subscribe and share and click the bell icon so i will see you in the next video until then bye bye